All right, still here in Indonesia. I want to show off my other knife made by me, this Grande Lumberjack. This is the Artemis Recon. The Artemis Recon is a modified version of the Artemis. The Artemis was designed as a skinning knife. The Artemis Recon sports a longer blade, four inches, and now a longer handle. The, this was the original Artemis handle, which I think is too long, so the original Artemis handle is now shorter. But the Artemis Recon is that kind of bushcrafty blade, but a little bit different. You can see that this has, we put it this way, yeah, you know, the handle drops down, or this way, the, the blade drops down. The Coke bottle on this is really nice. I'm really loving right here and the way this hook works. You come in for a nice, cool little pinch, not pinch, but you can grip like this and do some really nice wrist flick chops through. I got a bunch of tests recently up on my Instagram of this stabbing into a coconut, uh, chopping into bamboo and whatnot, and it did a lot better than I thought. The specs on this blade is 532nd CPM 4V, sitting at 64 HRC, 5 thou behind the edge, so this is a nice high convex bevel with a secondary V on it. Let's see if I can capture that. Secondary V, he's probably seated up to, towards the tip and it's about five thousandths up there. Uh, the only time I've ever sharpened this was right after I finished it, and it's been rocking that same edge ever since. Edge retention has been phenomenal. Uh, I will say that it needs a little bit of, of sharpening. I've run it pretty hard. I've chopped some antler with it, wrist flick chopped some antler, fat wood, turn cuts in antler, turn cuts in fat wood, did bamboo, uh, stabbed into a coconut, chopped into a coconut, all that fun stuff, and it's still going strong. A couple things I would change about this knife, right? Because we got to be critical. Uh, gotta, let's pretend it's not mine. Pretend I didn't make it. Right here, and we're changing this, is this finger choil well, however we want to say it, for when you choke up on this and you do fine work, I think this is too deep, or the the shape just needs to change a little bit. So I'm gonna modify that, and I'm gonna put a little bit of a, a hump at the front for kind of like a finger guard, just to keep your finger from rocking too far up there. Uh, the handle materials here are desert ironwood burl, giraffe bone bolster on uh, ivory canvas liners with black G10 liners, copper hardware. I'm really loving this. Uh, I got a couple more blades of mine in the works. I just wanted to show this off for the YouTube community. This was definitely a early build for me. It was within my first one or two batches within under 15 knives. So I built this one for myself just because I loved the design. There's actually only two of these that have been finished. Uh, I have one more of these blanks in 4V sitting around waiting to get made and I have a Magna Cut one on order so the, there's very few out there but i definitely think it's a little bit different than a lot of the bushcraft stuff that i see out there and i really like it uh, i also really love uh, my forester model and my puko model as well and i know i'm going to talk highly about my stuff because it is my stuff in the end but i definitely enjoy using this when i get the chance thanks for tuning in and hopefully i'll be having some more content out for you guys.